Okay, so here's the WMD, Weapon of Mass Detection. And it's all set up, including on a heavy duty tripod. I'm gonna explain after showing you here what everything does. Here's the front and the night vision cover is on right now because it can't be exposed to the daylight. Okay, so starting from the very first thing, this is the thermal camera and that is on this screen here. I don't know if you can see that with the brightness. Okay, so dark is uh, uh, hot. Anything that's dark is hot, including the clouds and so on. And I can make it white hot or dark hot. And so that's thermal, that's far infrared. And uh, this middle camera here is full spectrum. Okay, and that's this camera right here. It's a Sony A7S with all the filters taken out. And so it shows everything, including infrared, near infrared, and near ultraviolet. This screen here, let's go closer, that is infrared, and that's this camera here. That's also a Sony A7S, and it has a shorter zoom lens. It's 70 to 300 millimeters and zoom. Uh, so that is near infrared. This full spectrum uses a lens that's 300 to 1200 millimeters. And you can see here, if we release the lock, we can open that right up. There we go. And this camera here, this is an iPhone attached to uh, night vision. That's 10 times or uh, 270 millimeters. And it covers on right now. That's near infrared and that's a traditional green night vision. And it's of course not on right now because the light's too strong for it. This here is simply an optical spotter scope. Don't know if you can see in there but that is for spotting things. And this camera here is a Nikon P900, and that's uh, 83 times zoom. It's the equivalent of 2,000 millimeters. It can zoom right in. There's three more things here. This is a traditional night vision as well, but without zoom, so it just sees what the eye sees, and that's for easy spotting. These two cameras here are Sony A7Rs, and they're um, they just have a 24 millimeter lens each one. This one's for doing uh, time lapse, and it's just, as you can see, it just gives a wide view. Same with this one. This one's for doing video. So we just turn the video on and leave it for the whole session. This one, we do time lapse every couple seconds. It shoots for a second. And it's for anything that might be in the sky that we're not actually seeing. And uh, as you can see, the scopes are kind of in the picture here. I'm going to be moving this down a bit. I'm going to be putting a frame right in here and let the camera sit further down. Same with this one. Now these here is the most important thing. And those are the spotting tubes. And they have uh, uh, fluorescent, or not fluorescent, but uh, glow-in-the-dark paint on them. And inside specifically. And the reason for that is when it's pitch black at night and somebody sees a little pinpoint of light up in the sky, I look around first with my eye and then I move the tripod until I see it through the top one. Okay, I actually look through this area here and I see it. Then I look through here and get it in the middle. Then I go with the lower one, it's longer here. And so it's a smaller hole at the end. And as soon as it's in there, it's gonna be in focus in all my cameras here. The reason for the glow in the dark paint on the outside and then on the inside specifically in the inside is so I can see a little ring of light when I'm looking around at nighttime otherwise I can't see where the tube is. So basically that's the rig. Uh, there's one more thing on here I just remembered. That's here. This is a radar detector so it, it detects microwaves and should there be something that's giving off microwaves that'll go off. And of course always adding additions to this thing. It's getting very heavy but I've recently got this very, very strong tripod so that when I'm shooting video, nothing shakes. So basically that's it.